I'm Jenny, welcome to my channel where we use ordinary materials to make beautiful things. Today I am going to start a new journal. Um, and so I'm going to do it in a little bit different way than I have done it in the past. I want to use an elastic binding so that I can slip pages out and work on them and then put them back in and rearrange them and things like that. So I've seen a lot of those. It's like a traveler's notebook kind of binding. Um, but I've never made one, so this will be an adventure. So to that end, I have some elastic bands here that I dug around and found. I don't have a lot of elastic. I, I used most of my elastic uh, quite a while back when we were all making masks <laughs> when, when the pandemic first started and I, and I just never replaced it. So I don't have, I don't have very much elastic and what I have is kind of wide and not really, not really what I'm looking for. So I found these old hair bands that I had stashed in one of my drawers. So these are kind of round, these two are, and then these are kind of flat. So I'm not sure I'm in love with how they look. Uh, I did test them to see if they're the right size on the book cover and they seem to be okay. But I thought I might try to dye them a little bit. So this is a piece of, um, and now I've gone blank, cheesecloth. <laughs> this is a piece of cheesecloth that I had dyed. I, I have some uh, cheesecloth that was kind of old and, and run down looking and, and I bought some new for baking. And so I ripped up the pieces I had and, and dyed them. So what I used to dye them was um, ink and water. So it's just watered down ink that I put in sprayers. So this was leftover ink that I had one of those, is it Dr. Martin, Dr. Maybe Dr. I don't remember if it's Dr. Martin something. Anyway, it was um, a, a set of little bottles of, of ink uh, and they were almost gone. I didn't have hardly any of any color left. So I, put some water in the bottles and, and you know, got out as much as I could and put them into spray bottles. And then I use this to uh, spray layers of color onto my cheesecloth. So that's how I got this, this color. And this is what I'm gonna use as the binding to go around the back of the, the, the back edge of the book, the spine of the book. So it's a little thin, so I'm gonna fold it in half. Actually, I've already cut a couple pieces, but I'm gonna layer them into two pieces and use that as the binding. So my thought was I would take my grungy paint cup, <laughs> which is really grungy. I probably shouldn't be showing you my paint cup. Uh, my grungy paint cup, and we'll get a grungy towel and see maybe about spraying these with some dye. So I was thinking I would just kind of put them in the cup and kind of try to spray down. Oops. So I got to get make sure that doesn't get everywhere <laughs> uh, because I just got some here. Well, that'll be covered up, so that's not a big deal. I might need to put on an apron. This could get messy. So I'm just trying to Trying to get some color. You would not think that that would splatter quite so much. So. Sorry, my hand's in the way. I'm just trying to keep it from splattering everywhere. So I've got, I've just got a, a stiff little brush that I thought I could, you know, work it around with. I just didn't really want it to be white. I mean, I'm okay if it's a little more grungy. Now, let's see. Oh, that's kind of a nice color. All right, I'll set that one over there. Um, let's see, I've got another white one. And I kind of have, there's kind of this aqua, aqua bluey green. So we'll try that one. I've got a couple gray ones, so I'm not sure the color's gonna show up on them. But let's see if we can contain some color down into the coffee cup here. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a little messy. Oh, well, I'm a mess. But generally, I'm a happy mess. So 
That was my nickname when I was a baby. My grandfather nicknamed me Happy Mess. Because I was always a mess, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> That's looking pretty good. Let's see if we can add a little more. So if I, you know, if I had a different dish, this might be better. I probably did it at the sink. <laughs> Maybe, but it's okay. Oh, that's nice. And it's okay if it's not totally, I mean, there are some, there's some spots on it that aren't quite done, but that's okay. I don't mind that it's kind of modeled looking. That's all right. And this one, see, this one's kind of, kind of makes it look tie-dyed a little bit. Although we could maybe put them back in and, and put a different color on them in a minute after it sets a little bit. So let's try this one. This one's kind of a blue and white stripey to begin with. Um, not sure. This is kind of oceany. So I'll show you, let me show you the cover. This is actually an old book cover that um, I had taken apart, part of what was inside the book. The book itself wasn't super interesting, but the cover was beautiful. And there were some there were some good photographs um, inside, and I've already used the text block and the photographs long ago. And I've had this book hmm, probably 10 years. So I but I found that I still had the cover and I had done other cut something else with it and it had washi tape and stuff on it. So I've gotten all of that off. And you can see I've kind of painted it already a little bit and, and used, looks like gold gel pen on it. Um, so this is how I just stored it because the last time I used it, this is what it looked like. So the inside, the inside cover looks like the beach and the back is just a repeat of the front. So I really like this cover. I'm not sure what else I'm going to do to it. I'm sure I will do something to it. Um, Maybe I'll put some actual shells on it or something. But I am gonna do a beach theme. I've been, I've been dreaming about the beach a lot. Um, it's, it's like my happy place and I haven't been there in a while. Like many of you, I haven't been anywhere in, <laughs> on vacation in a while. So, you know, um, so I'm dreaming about, dreaming about the beach. So I want this to be blues and greens and things like that. So, you know, these, this color would be okay because it kind of goes with that blue. This color would be okay. And it's also gonna go with with this and it has the same the same kind of spots on it in different colors. So that's that's what we're looking for. Um, so I'm not sure. I mean I could I could do a little more blue on this. I'm sure it would look different. Maybe we'll do the two blues together. Maybe if I, uh, I wonder if I just put some water on it to start with, we'll just dampen it down with some water. Maybe that will make it absorb it differently. Sometimes that does. So let's, uh, let's squish it around in the kind of the blue green. And then maybe I'll add some blue as well, some of the dark blue. Because that was definitely two different colors on the other, on the other bands there, so. Maybe a combination of the two. Well, it's a good deal more blue, that's for sure. And it does kind of look, kind of look tie-dyed looking, so. I wish I could get something that looked like my ring. <laughs> this ring um, I got for my anniversary this year and because I'm, I've always got glue and paint and things on my hands, I didn't want to wear my, my good wedding ring when I am um, crafting. So my husband got me this one uh, and it's made from silicone, but it's really cool. I'll show you. So it's, it's very rubbery. So if you get something on it, paint or something on it, it comes right off and nothing sticks to it. Um, if I happen to get my hand caught in something, some a cutter or something, it would just break away. But if you look at it, it's kind of designed like the ocean. So it's got kind of like ocean waves in the blue. So 
That's because he knows that's my happy place. Anyway, I digress. Okay, so that's those two. I'm not sure how the gray one's going to do, but, um, you know, anything's better than gray. So we'll, uh, and I already got some on my hands here. Let's see, will that, will that help? I'm kind of making a mess out of this. Let's try that water again and see, see if maybe dampening it helps a little. I think I kind of like the, the blue greeny one a little better than the dark blue. So let's see what we can get. <laughs> my fingers are just gonna be staying blue. I'm going out to dinner with my mother-in-law tonight and so my, of course my hands will be blue. <laughs> oh, my family's used to me, right? I have paint on my hands. And I, you know, I can have paint all over me. I take a shower, I scrub, and then I get out of the shower and I still find like paint on, you know, like my elbow or something that I, I didn't find before. So I am truly messy. Well, I'm not sure that the color took. It's still very gray, but maybe it's a little, maybe it's more blue gray. I think, you know, we won't really be able to tell until it dries, I guess, to see to see how it's doing. So let's set that aside. I'm gonna take a better look at these. I really like these two, these three. All three of those look nice. These are kind of closer to the same color, the two flat ones. And then this one's still nice. And this one really just turned a darker gray, but alas, maybe, Maybe if I spray it with bleach. Oh, that might be an idea. I don't have any bleach today, but, or at least not with me, but that's an idea. Maybe I'll spray it with bleach and see what I can do with that. So, okay, I'm gonna set these aside to dry and we'll work on the book. As soon as I get the ink off of my hands, well, at least the wet part. <laughs> look around and see the mess okay so my book cover is um 11 and a half inches tall Let's see i'll put one here okay i don't know if that's in frame maybe it's in frame on this side might be so you can see it's it's 11 and a half inches tall by about eight inches wide and I made this 11 and a half inches tall by about two inches wide. So that's gonna have a two inch spine. Um, I did glue several pieces of cardboard together to get the spine because the cardboard I had was very thin and I wanted it to be about the same thickness as the book cover. I didn't want like a really thin flimsy kind of spine with this kind of heavy cover. Um, if I had used just a cardboard uh, piece of cardboard for the cover, it would have been fine because it would have been the same. Um, but I, I really didn't want that. And since I'm gonna put those elastic around it to hold the the signatures in, I feel like it needs to be a little a little thicker. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I have two plies of of that. Um, dyed cheesecloth because you can see right through kind of one ply when you put when you put the cardboard under it it's it's very white but when you do two plies you can't really tell that you know there's anything any color or anything under there so that's what I have done as I've done two plies and I've tried to fray the edges um, this inner piece has a selvage on it so it's a little not frayed but the, what's going to show on the outside is frayed. Alrighty, so I have two plies and I've cut it a little bigger, uh, longer than I need. And so the idea is this, I'm going to glue this down and then we're going to glue it um, to these. And so we want just a tiny little piece, a tiny little bit between so that it's got a hinge. And one way to do that is to 
stand the book up and you know over a little bit and, and glue it that way and then open it or you can you know mark it okay so we'll get to that in just a minute um, but the cheesecloth is kind of thin so I don't think I don't think I need to glue them glue it together separately from this I think this will go all the way I think the glue will all go all the way through all right so I am using uh, Art Glitter Glue. It's fabric adhesive. So I bought the kind for, it's good for fabric too. I'm gonna put quite a bit of glue on this because I really want it to stick well. I don't want it moving around on me. I am gonna spread it out though. Okay, and I'm gonna pop this down. Let's see, kind of center. It doesn't have to be exact. It's a junk journal, so it's not perfect. That's okay. All right, and then we're just gonna press that down. Really well. really well okay let's see how it looks from this side we'll press it from this side oops I got a little bit stuck there nope that's okay it seemed to be sticking I'm just worried about that second layer seems like it is and I think I think by the time we get it all glued together it, it will be fine if it's not, then we can certainly add some glue once it's on there. I don't know. See, now I'm worried about it. It's sticky, but it's not super sticky. So now I'm thinking I'll just add, I'll just add another layer now, just because I don't want, you know, I don't want it to come off. Better safe than sorry. Just want to make sure it sticks really well because I want both of those layers. And it is sticky, you know, there is, but I'm afraid, I'm afraid it maybe isn't quite sticky enough. So. Yeah, it's coming off a little too easily for me. But alas, live and learn. So I've, I've never used fabric this thin for the binding. I, I usually use something a little heavier, so I haven't used two plies like this. So it's always good to try something new. Every journal I make, I, I try to do something that I haven't done before, I try to make it different in some way. Otherwise, what's the point? You don't wanna just keep repeating yourself. You can repeat techniques, but you don't want to. You don't want to necessarily repeat exactly what you've done. Okay. All right. I think that's good. So let's commence to putting this on. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave a tiny little space and glue this down, and then once we have both sides. We're going to wrap it and then kind of push it down in there. Okay, so about there. I think I was going to put the glue on the book, but I think I will put it on here so that... I just want a generous amount of glue. I just want to make sure it's going to stay. Use the finger tool, right? It works better than pretty much anything else. Okay. 
All right, so we just want that little bit of space so that it opens and closes, right? So like if we were doing this right up next to it and we laid it down, see there would be that little bit of space. And that's what we want. Just gonna press that really well. Let's turn it over. Make sure, see, see, we're gonna, we want it to be able to do that. So we just need that little bit of a hinge. All right, let's do the other side. That seemed to work okay, adding the glue to the fabric. Normally the art glitter glue I don't use quite as much because it's really good glue and it doesn't take very much. It is not inexpensive, but because you don't use very much, it lasts a really long time. So in the end it's probably is, you know, about the same cost as some of the cheaper things. It just lasts longer. Okay. Again, we just want that little space, just that little space, so that the book will open and close easily. Okay. Right. And we can bend it and see, see that it bends well. Oops, got glue on my fingers and now it's sticking. <laughs> All right, that looks good. Okay, so we're gonna fold this in and put this down and then we're gonna cut a piece to go on the inside. So when we fold this in, we're just gonna tuck as much as we can down into down into there. I kind of like to leave a little bit more on, you know, on the overlap. Um, some people don't. Some people cut off and don't put as much as much fabric when they fold it up. But I just think it makes it easier to uh, to do the inside because then you don't have to worry about getting it exactly down to the oops. So we want to be sure we get that crease. So that the book opens and closes easily. Looks like we need a little glue on that second layer. Do the other direction. I'm gonna have to get some of this glue off my fingers. <laughs> that is the only problem when you have really sticky glue, when you have really good glue like this, it's very sticky. So if you if you get too much of it on you, it makes it hard to glue anything else. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut some of these strings off just because this is gonna go underneath. It's sticking, it's still sticking to me. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, goodness. All right, so you'd think the, the baby wife would have done it, but apparently not. All right. So let's glue this side down.
just want to smooth it out and get down into that crease. Use your fingernails. If you don't have fingernails or you don't want to do that with your, with your hands, use a bone folder. Use um, the tip of a pen that you, you know, click in the ballpoint part of it and, and stick the pen down there. You could use the edge of your scissors if they're not too sharp. You don't want to cut it though. So, okay, we want it to close and open really easily. Let's see the outside. That looks good. Check out the edges. So, we might need to, that top layer, right? We added some glue on the other, so because we have this two layers, we're gonna add a little more glue. So we'll just run some glue under there. The bottom layer seems to be very secure. It's just the top layer here. And we've already folded it over, so it's not coming off, but rather than letting it catch on anything, Just spread that glue around. Let's do the same thing on the back. Let's check that layer. Yep, top layer. Well, this one's stuck a little bit better, maybe. Okay, well, that side looks like it, it stuck a good, a good deal better. All right, so that's what our book looks like open. Kind of got a little bit of a little bit of tie dye kind of going on the edge there, and then on the inside. All right, we just want to work those down, and I just want to close it to continue to dry with that bend in it. Okay, so we need to put another piece down the center but I need to wash my hands, so I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hands aren't sticky. <laughs> I'm not sure I got, still didn't get all the ink off, but the hands aren't sticky. So I have another piece um, that is from the same, same thing I had. So I just thought that I would use it to cover the inside. Let's see. We could probably do one layer in here because the paper is going to cover it, but I don't know. I think, I think I'd rather just go with two layers and make it look like the other side, and that's, that's fine, I think. So I'm just going to, I'm just folding that selv edge in so that's not, not the side we see. Um, and then I'm going to cut it and fray it a little bit so that both edges have a little bit of fraying on them. That is the beauty of cheesecloth is that it's really easy to dye, cut, fray, all kinds of stuff, right? So we'll just pull some threads and it's very inexpensive. If you don't, uh, if you don't have cheesecloth or you don't have access to it, those really inexpensive rolls of bandage work really well too. You can do the same kinds of things with that. Okay, so this is going to be about that long, right? In the world of junk journaling, you don't really have to measure too much. <laughs> can, but you don't have to. So maybe we should just glue one layer and then glue the other layer. This one probably goes underneath though because it's got the cell edge on it. Not 
cut that straight. Doesn't have to be super straight, but I want it a little bit, right? <laughs> Just a little straight would be okay. All right, and since these aren't, these edges aren't really frayed, maybe we'll glue that one down first, <clears throat> and then we'll put the one with the frayed edges on top. Yeah, let's do, let's do it in two layers. I think that might be easier. Okay, again, because this fabric is really thin, I think I'm gonna apply the glue to the book. So I'm just gonna kinda come down across here. See, I don't know why I washed my hands because here I am doing it again, right? Just gonna get sticky again. Oh well. It's worth it. I love making books. I love making journals. I think it's just fun. It's just one of the most fun things I think a person can do is to make a journal, especially out of something that would have been thrown away. You know, this book, part of this book had been uh, water damaged. The cover had kind of escaped. Um, I don't know how. <laughs> I think somebody like spilled water on, like spilled something on the inside of the book. So the cover was, was spared. Um, but I got it at, oh, I don't know, probably Goodwill, someplace like that for a dollar. Like I said, I've had it <clears throat> for like 10 years. And hopefully this journal will kind of be its last life. <clears throat> hopefully it can live a while, live a while as a journal. <laughs> One of my cats is down here. Do your pets hang out with you when you're when you make things. Yeah, we definitely need that second layer because you can still see, you can see where the inside of the book is torn a little. But that layer will cover it up. Much better. Okie doke. Now we have this other layer. Frayed both sides. Let's see. Should we put the fraying mostly this way? What do we think? Put we put the more frayed on the front on the outside, so maybe we should put it on the back on the inside. Okay, this is good. Love it when a plan comes together. Ready that down. Make sure we're down in those creases. Okay, 
I'm gonna set this aside to dry and I'm going to find an assortment of some papers that I can use to put into the journal. So the idea, again, with the kind of traveler's notebook is that the elastic will hold this in. That's almost dry. The elastic will go here and hold it in. And I'm thinking two signatures, I mean, maybe three, maybe, maybe three signatures of five pages which when you have five pieces of paper and you fold them, that becomes, you know, the front and back of 10, that's 20 pages, that's a lot. So maybe maybe two signatures, we'll, uh, we'll see. Of course, the beauty is if you use elastic, you can always add and subtract if you get too much, if you need more, right? Okay, so I am going to turn off the camera for a few minutes, let this dry, and I'm gonna find some paper and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, as you can see, this is almost dry, it's still a little damp. I had it turning the other way, so I'm gonna turn it up this direction. But I've decided to use the two flatter, um, the two flatter elastic bands. And so I'm just gonna kind of leave those on there and set that aside to dry. So as usual, I have a dilemma because I have so much stuff to put in, and some of it is really beautiful. And some of it is more junk journaly, so I'm kind of torn. Do I want the stuff that is more junk journal, or do I want the more beautiful, or do I want some of both? And of course, right now I'm leaning towards some of both, just because it makes it more interesting, I think. So I just want to flip through. A lot of this is um, far too big. I would need to cut it down, uh, but it's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind cutting it down. But I just wanted to kind of show you what the choices are. Uh, and then I have to figure out how to make a decision. <laughs> so as far as junk journal things go, I really like paper bags. So I have this Staples bag, it would be good. You would slide in and then, you know, provide this. And I could, like we could cut this open and make a pocket. We'd have a pocket already here, that kind of stuff. So here's another one that is an envelope it's it's actually a photo enlargement envelope um and so that you know that needs some work so we could either seal that and put in a new a new slit or we could take this off and and you know cover that but either way there would be a couple a couple of pockets um here i found one page left from the original book I was searching through uh, my book pages, my loose book pages, and this is this is actually left from the original book. So I'm thinking it probably has to go in there somewhere. Um, and I'm okay with different sizes of pages and things like that, uh, but I, I do think this has to go in there somewhere uh, just because it goes with the inside. If you look at the inside cover of the book, it's, it's the, same, the same print. Then I found a couple of things that I just thought were colors that reminded me of the beach. This reminds me of the washed out uh, tiles, the sun bleached tiles on the roofs of the houses at, at the beach when I'm in California. Um, this kind of is the same thing. It reminds me of some of the bleached out uh, colors that you see reflecting off of the, off of the buildings. Um, this one, I didn't realize there was, oh, I didn't realize there was glitter on that. <laughs> I thought this one reminded me of the sky at night over the ocean right before it gets completely dark. It's that really beautiful purpley color. Uh, this I thought was kind of watery. This one I thought kind of had uh, a beachy vibe. Um, we live in Arizona, so the closest beach to us is uh, California or, or down to Mexico, either one, but it's, it's the Pacific coast. And so when I see this, I, I see the kinds of things from buildings and things like that. And this one has the added bonus of having something on the other side. So it's, it's two-sided, whereas these are, are not, which is not a big deal because we're gonna put something on it so it doesn't really matter. And this one's kind of messy from paint, but again, it doesn't it doesn't really matter what's on the back. Um, it's just nice if it's two sided. Then I have some old vellum that I found that I think would be just fun to put in. Uh, it reminded me 
of like making a chart or something if, if you were sailing and you might make your own chart. I think it would be fun to kind of do an ocean and, you know, like charting your path or maybe stars or something. Um, this one is just a nice, nice colors, you know, that, that look oceany to me. Uh, this is a piece that has a rainbow and splatter on one side and then kind of a, a bluey, you know, bottom of the oceany look maybe on the other. Um, I really like the, the little bits of, of uh, shiny watercolor. That's what this is. It's metallic watercolor. So that one's fun. Then I have a book that is about shells that I'm probably going to be using uh, some of the shells to to decorate the journal with but the book some of the book pages are fold outs so they're very large so I think you know that would be a lot of fun because you could put the put it in as this and you'd get this one and this this I mean there would be one blank but as I said it doesn't really matter if there's a blank here and there it's not a not a big deal so I've got two of those. And if you saw the video uh, from my book haul from the charity book sale uh, back in February, that's where this book came from. So I'm thinking this one would be a really great one to use, both of these. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I want those. Um, this is from a book on Mallorca. And again, it's from that book sale. But I really like that when you go this way, it's it's kind of the shoreline, and then you have water, and then you have water, right? So, I mean, obviously, whichever way you turn it, the boat's gonna be kind of going the wrong way, but it doesn't really matter because, again, we're gonna do something to decorate it. So I'm, I don't worry too much about whether something's turned the right way or the wrong way. I, I look more at the colors and maybe what it reminds me of. And so I think, you know, I think some of these mixed in would be fun. This one is um, blank on the back and it's, you can see it's an end page from a book. This is from a book on shipwrecks and treasure. So I definitely think that would be a fun one. This is also from the book on shipwrecks and treasure. Uh, and it's really cool because it has, it has those uh, boats printed in the background. Um, this is an index of the of the treasure and shipwrecks and it's fine like if we wanted to we could do some tall thin pages uh, and keep the boats going the right way you know if that's if, that, if we decide that's important or it can go this way it doesn't really doesn't really matter um, then I have some map pages so this one uh, is from a modern atlas this one and this one both and I really love this I love the color of the the green you know and then we've got the ocean so those are modern map pages this is from a vintage map book and so this one I think would be would be really interesting I like I like the color of this I like the feel of the paper it has that weightier um, feel to it that sometimes the vintage books have. Sometimes they're either really thin uh, and, and kind of old and, and crumbly or they're that really heavy um, made to last kind of kind of book and they're not shiny. They're not, you know, the newer books tend to be thinner paper and they tend to be coated so that they have a shinier coat on them. But old books tend not to be shiny. It's a different kind of paper, but it's heavier. So I like the feel of this one. And this one is from that same book. So it's got that beautiful aging yellowing on the back. And then it's got the illustration on the front. This one I found, I really like it, but it is definitely crumbling. So if we decide to use it, I'm gonna have to glue it to another page, which we had some things that were blank on the back. So uh, that's one way you can use things like this that are falling apart. Uh, this particular page was falling apart. I like it where it says over the waves. Uh, and then I've done, I've just done a little bit of scribbling and painting. Um, I just had like a stack of old paper that I did some stuff to a while back, uh, probably a couple years ago now. So that one, you know, we could, 
if we if we can fold it, you know, we can keep we can keep both sides. But I am I am very concerned. You can see I just barely moved that and it just tore. I'm very concerned about this falling apart. So I think if I decide to use it, I'm going to have to attach it to the back of something, which is which is fine. Um, now we're back to some of the junky stuff. So I have a Princess Cruises um, bag, right? Shopping bag, which I think would be really fun to to cut apart and and use, you know, use it this way in the journal with the with the kind of ombre effect. So I think that would be fun. Um, this is a piece of wallpaper border, and it's it's pretty cool. I don't know if it might be a little small. Yep, yeah, it's a little small for that. Um, but you can see it's, it's printed on the back with the wallpaper information. Packaged in five yard lengths. Oh, made in America, it says. So this is just a snippet. So it could, you know, we could turn it in and have, you'd basically have this picture and this picture. Right? Um, this is some more wallpaper. Um, on second, looking at this, I'm not sure. I don't think I meant to pick this one because it doesn't really look to me like one that I was after. So this reminded me of the sand and how it glistens, how things glisten in the sun at the beach. Um, so I really liked that. The color of this definitely reminded me of, of the beach and the ocean. It's sandy and kind of kind of bluey, it's almost Caribbean blue if it were, you know, if it were darker, but I mean, it's like a real faded out, but it looks like, it's like a faded Caribbean blue. And this reminded me of, again, the houses, the stucco uh, that's weathered because, you know, the coastal weather is pretty rough on wood and stucco and things like that. It, it gets a very weathered look really fast. Um, things, things tend to look old, even though they're, they're not. Um, because of the weathering from the, the, you know, sand blowing and the salt air and things like that. So I just, I just felt like this looked like the weathered stucco. So I like that one. And then these last couple of things are from um, the back of, of a, an aquarium. Like we had, uh, we have, we, we have a fairly large aquarium and it has a different back, but when we bought the backing, um, it had, this was already kind of in the back of the aquarium, and, and it's just there to show, you know, as an illustration. And so we, we have backing on ours that's, that's really pretty, but then there's this, which I thought would be kind of fun as, as a page. So it would probably be, you know, more like this size and then folded. But I, I think it's kind of fun with the with the plants and stuff. Although in the picture you can tell they're really plasticky looking, but that's kind of kind of what makes it fun. Maybe we could go this way though. Here's another one. All right. So this was on the back of the aquarium. But so those are either if I if I decide not to put these in, I think I'll be like maybe cutting out some of the fish. To use so it's it's really just a question of whether or not I'm going to put them in the journal as a page or whether I'm just going to cut the things out of them so you can see I have chosen way too much stuff which is always what I do there's there's way more than I can possibly use or need or want well I might want it all but there's way more than I could possibly use so now I need to uh, narrow it down and I think Probably what I'm going to do is, you know, decide I'm going to have two signatures. I need to decide how many uh, pages I'm going to put in each signature, how many pieces of paper. And then I'll do something like, you know, there's something junky in each one, something pretty. Um, like I really love these these shell pictures. So I'm, I'm pretty sure those are going in. Uh, so that will be, you know, one set in each signature so that they're kind of kind of the same. And then, you know, maybe one of the atlas pages in each signature and one of the, the um, wallpaper samples in each signature. And maybe uh, something that's a painted piece 
uh, one of these one of these kind of painted ones in each signature you know if I if I did this one I could maybe glue this to the back you know that would that would take care of some of that and that would make that strong enough if I if I wanted to do one like that um, or I could put this one with um, something like the vellum which is not very thick, so it's not gonna make it overly thick, but would give it enough strength to hold together, certainly. You know, and it could go, it could go that way. So, so I need to make some decisions, and I will um, make those and cut them down, cut the pieces down, and then be back to show you what I decided on and, and how I'm putting it together. And then hopefully next time we'll, you know, we'll start working on in the journal. So once we get it put together, we'll be good to go. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I've, I've made some decisions about pages. I also changed my mind about the number of signatures. When I put in two signatures um, with a whole lot of pages, <laughs> like nine pages each, or nine pieces of paper, which is more than, than that page is. That's like 36 pages each because it's front and back of two sides, yeah. Um, and you'll see in a minute. Uh, so I put, I divided those into two signatures, two signatures of nine, and it felt very loose. There was a lot of space between the two signatures. They were kind of evenly spaced and there was a lot of space in between and they moved around a lot. So I used the same number, I just took the same pages and redistributed them um, to include three signatures. So it's three signatures of six instead of two signatures of nine. Um, and that has seemed to help some it, with the way it's laying in the book. Um, so let me show you what I did. I, I kind of leaned toward, more toward the junk journal feel because that's really what I like, and, and I like uh, papers that I can do stuff to, and it doesn't bother me, and you know, that kind of thing. So I still wanna do something to the cover, but I'm not sure what. I'm gonna think about that for a while. Um, I'm not sure if I like the elastic binding. Um, I think it will be nice to be able to take the page out to work on it, so you know, you could just lift a page, take it out, work on it, and then put it back. Um, and I think that will be nice. As long as you put it back in the right place. <laughs> um, as long as I put it back between. All right. Haha, -ha, there we go. Um, so, you know, putting it back maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, I've, I've never had an elastic binding like this, um, but I have seen a few people work on them and they look really nice to be able to take it out, work on it, and put it back so that you're not getting paint on other things or messing up something else or you have to, you know, if you if you put a lot of stuff in here, embellishments and things like that, it gets very lumpy and it's hard to do anything with it sometimes, which is what I'm running into in another journal I have. So I thought I would try this. So we'll see how it works. Um, maybe once, I've worked in the pages and put it together. Maybe I will sew the signatures together uh, and put them in, bind them in a different way so that they're, they're permanent once I've, I've done, you know, all of the pages. I'm not really sure. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of have to wait and see, you know, how that works in, in the long run. Uh, I do think in the short term, it will be, it will be really good. But in the long run, I don't know. So I'll show you what I, I decided. I did decide to put them in order not from width, but by height, um, because when in, in another journal that I'm working in, in my Motivational Monday journal, sometimes I have a full page here, and then something really small over here, and then a full page behind it, and it makes it hard to like do this and this, but not this. Um, do the full page and the small one and then not do the big one behind it. Um, so, and then the next time when you do the big one behind it, you see it. And while, yes, you'll see the edges out here, it will be closer to the same height. Um, so I started with, with this, which is two-sided. Then we have a map page two-sided. Then we have those beautiful shells. 
Um, on the back of the piece of wallpaper, on this piece of wallpaper, when I was um, looking, well, when I was putting stuff away, actually, I, uh, I found some tissue paper from a seafood restaurant that's, you know, they serve like their fish and chips on it. And my husband had fish and chips and there was this, you know, this uh, tissue paper um, that's printed with all of their stuff on it, which I thought was really cute. It looks like a newspaper. You know, it's called the Daily Catch and it's got all these little stories about the restaurant kind of thing. And so we asked if I could have a couple pieces and we did. So that's very, you know, junk journaling. It's something from a restaurant. So I thought that was fun. So I just went ahead and put that in. Um, then I also went ahead and mounted that piece of music because it was falling apart. And you can see it's it's tearing here in the center. So whatever, whatever I do that page, I'm going to have to maybe do some repair work or put some uh, sealer over the page just to keep this from, from chipping away anymore. Uh, but I have the painted on one side and then, and it wasn't super thick. So I went ahead and put that there. And then I have another piece of, of, uh, wallpaper. So, and here's going the other way. Okay. So the second signature has a map page and that a book page from that Mallorca. Here's the other piece of that um, tissue paper from the restaurant and it's on the back of the coins from the book. And this was, remember that really thin vellum and I thought that would still be fun to have. Uh, so I backed it with one of the painted pages. I went ahead and left in um, the envelope just because I feel like that's a really good junk journal kind of thing and we can, you know, cut the top and make and make a pocket here. We could cut the edge and make a pocket here, um, something. But and then there's that other inside of the book page. And so here it is going the other way. And then the last signature, I have the sack, the, the bag from uh, Princess Cruises. And again, that's one of those things that I feel like is just a really good addition to a junk journal because this is something that would end up in the trash that now I can make something out of. So here we can, I can, you know, glue the top and the bottom and make kind of a pocket, or I can just glue the bottom and we can make a tuck spot. So, you know, that can get decorated um, beautifully. And then we can make a, a card or something to write on and do a tuck spot here. Uh, so then there's a piece of, of map, it's a piece of the Atlas page, another one of those beautiful shell pages, the Mallorca book, um, the wallpaper, and then the other half. There was that, this kind of big map page was, was double, and I, I liked it, but I wanted it more than once, so I cut it in half and put it in a smaller form. And so here's the other side of that. And that will be the end, and then there's the back. And I haven't really decided what I want to do uh, to the front and back um, covers. I'm, I'm seriously thinking about scattering some of my favorite poems throughout the book um, that have to do with the beach and the sea and things like that. And so I, I, might, I might put a poem here um, Maggie and Millie and Molly and May is a really good one. It's E.E. E. Cummings. I don't think I can remember the whole thing, but it starts Maggie and Millie and Molly and May went down to the sea to play one day. And each of them finds something at the beach, like a shell, a stone, you know, um, that kind of thing. Uh, and then at the end, the end of the poem is for whatever we find, like a you, let's see, for whatever we find, like a you or a me, I don't know, something, it's always ourselves we find in the sea. Um, but I was thinking that it might be really fun to put, you know, a poem here and a poem here and then maybe scatter some poems throughout the pages that that might be um, the words, like might be poems. 
And then I'm not, I don't know, I'm contemplating some journaling spots, uh, but I'm thinking that those might be more pockets and tuck spots and things that um, can be taken in and out as opposed to actually attached to the book itself. So we'll have to think about um, how that works. My other concern with this is that, you know, they're gonna move around, but they seem to be doing better now that there's three of them. When there were two, it was, they were, they were a little more flimsy. So this seems to be doing well. All right, so we're gonna leave it at that. This is a little long, but I don't wanna cut it because if I do, I lose that. Hmm. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll cut off one of them. I don't know. I guess we'll have to decide if it sticks out too much. It's starting to bug me and it's it's not even, <laughs> I haven't even started it and it's bugging me. Of course, if I put, oh, if I put lace or something along here that stuck out over the edge, we wouldn't even see that. That might be the, that might be, you know, what, what to do. So we'll contemplate that too. So there are definitely some things we need to address. We need to decide what to do with the cover. I love the cover the way it is, but I, I feel like it needs some other stuff. So I'm not sure, maybe, maybe we'll do some jewelry or something on the cover. All right, so until next time, oh, wait. <laughs> if you had a good time today, please hit like and subscribe um, because it really means a lot to me, it helps me a great deal. Uh, if you want to find me on social media, all of my links are in the description box below. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Remember, use what you have to make your life more beautiful. Bye.